Here's a quick walkthrough of our 1989 Hunter 30 SL. We are up in the San Juan Islands, which of course is salt water, but we actually acquired this boat from a gentleman who was not an active sailor, and it sat in fresh water in the Columbia River down in Portland for most of its life. So according to the records, I think it's only been in salt water for three, four years now, which is nothing. Uh, new bottom paint last year had the boat serviced right over there. And of course, Marina, the fine folks, uh, I've got a new sail cover. The roller furler still has a, it's a, it's a, it's a 120 Genoa that's on there, but it's had some stretching over time. There was one minor repair on it, but in the sailing that we've had, it's held up just fine. So a little bit of life left in those. When the boat was sailed up from Portland, uh, we hired a professional crew to do that. So all the rigging was set and approved by that crew. So it's top notch. Actually bumpers, we are active sailors. So we do try to keep it relatively clean, uh, given that it is January right now. We haven't power washed it in a while or cleaned it. You're gonna see a little bit of funk, but nothing, nothing too concerning. Uh, we're good about maintaining the wood uh, each year, just keeping that look sharp. So we treat the teak usually annually. Uh, Self-tailing furlers, split transom with a swim deck. Not that anyone really around here is doing much, uh, doing much swimming. Uh, the only cosmetic ding to the boat, if you can see, is that ding right there. And that's from one day when I backed up into that guy's boat right there. You can see that little white chip. So <laughs> simply cosmetic, uh, but it was certainly an embarrassing day for me. Um, obviously the, the helm, uh, we use Navionics. We just use our phone for both our music and our navigation from here uh, through that Bose setup right there where it just hooks up everything to Bluetooth. Uh, this is the Auto Helm mount and Auto Helm uh, which comes obviously with the boat and works phenomenally. Um, again, there's your roller further line. It does have a stove, just opened it up so you can see that it is clean and functional. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire up the boat just so you can see that it does indeed fire up. I think we've, we've sailed this in about every about every temperature you can think of and we've never really had a problem with it uh, doing much of anything. Go ahead and turn the motor off so you can, you can hear me. Uh, so again, there's a big cabin down below. I have the Abney's kind of flopped around here a little bit just so you can see uh, where battery selectors and all that are if you want to see the testing all the batteries are, are new so they're all testing out well so you can see that and switch and set those up however you like this is where our kids spend most of their time but very comfy very warm um, alcohol stove we've never used it on either side, um, obviously these things are pretty idiot proof, so I'm sure it does work if you wanna go ahead and get the inserts. Uh, storage, as you can imagine, all around, boat's clean. This is, this compartment is the only thing this ice maker does not work. Usually we just fill this whole situation up with ice, use it kind of as a large cooler. Both the hot and cold water do work which is excellent. Here is the engine information, spare parts all around. Again, a lot of that coming from when we had it sailed up. So oil filters, transducers, the whole thing. Coming back through here, this is our engine access to check oil. Uh, we try to keep everything clean and in an excellent order, as one would imagine. Front access is through here. This is the head. It does have a shower function. I don't believe anyone's ever used it. It does work, but no one's ever used it. Your typical head, all that works well. Holding tank. 
down in there that um, all the tanks were cleaned, a uh, fuel tank and this tank were, were cleaned out before we, we bought it and it's done well. Now looking into the rest of the boat, the clearance is six foot two. I am five foot 10. So you can see it's, uh, it's roomy and that's why we got it. So it doesn't make it the fastest boat that's out there, uh, but plenty spacious. Navigation table. That's a new radio that we got when we bought the boat for them to sail it up. Um, all the lights are functional. Battery charger functional. Everything here works and we've wired new things up to it. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Uh, going through here, there's storage underneath all of these benches as well as behind. Uh, jack lines if you need them. Again, storage on this side. Table does pull out for a little bit more space. Hat not included. <laughs> Going back here, uh, there are speakers that are wind up. Those do work. So the speakers that are the sound that's going outside is also being played in here. A uh, little V-berth in the front that obviously we just use for all the life jackets and storage. We have a lot of little cousins and whatnot that like to come along. Uh, but obviously that looks great. If you're ever looking for the transducers, they're under there. If you ever want to upgrade those. Um, all the covers and whatnot for the hatches are still are still in here. And this is the bilge. Like anything, heavy rains, you'll get some water in there. Uh, but the automatic bilge pump does work, and we do have a, an additional manual bilge pump uh, under there for emergencies. This is the auto helm that works famously. Uh, we absolutely love it. And then backup parts, electronics, batteries, all the stuff that you could need. Uh, that's about it for for down here. Um, I forget what the length of clearance. It's 11 feet. It's an 11 foot beam, so it's. It's plenty wide down here. All right, so let's go back up here and check out some of the mechanics. Again, self tailing wrenches all around, all in well working order. Um, most of these are not original lines. Most of these have been upgraded uh, over time. Here you can see the stuff's been out in the rain a little bit. But all the cleats are functional. The bikini top, we never, we never set up, um, just we didn't need it, we prefer to be in the sun when when we can. Uh, uh, let's see, trying to think of anything with the sails again. A little bit older, but plenty of life left. And I'm not sure if you have any experience with these, which are uh, lazy jacks. Our last boat did not have lazy jacks. And short of a self furling main, uh, I think these babies saved our marriage. <laughs> when it comes down to uh, being able to to leaf and drop that drop that sail effectively uh, again decks in great condition no soft spots no damage obviously a little bit of dirty from the kids running around um again all the rigging it's been updated it, uh, we do not have a spinnaker pole uh, but obviously it is set up to run one should you choose to uh, we do have a dinghy um that would be a little bit additional if you wanted to get that too uh, it's got an electronic trolling motor that we keep in in there but uh, it's a good little boat we use it to go and just pull out crab traps from from time to time um, our marina is nice especially since it's we have a smaller boat next to us so pulling in and pulling out is amazing if you're thinking about subleasing this lease but anyway this is uh this is our hunter it's been a phenomenal boat now it's time to get another phenomenal boat, which is what we do. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any more questions or specifics or anything that you want to see, but I tried to be fairly comprehensive on this. So, there you go.